Here we are at the end of September, back at the dry stream bed. Just finished mulching it today. The edges have been planted, mulch has been done. Slab bridge right here going over to the fountain, fountain right there in that little grotto. That's a little rainmaker fountain we call that. Water comes down off the sides of that wavy pot like that. It, it kind of ripples and makes the water come out in individual drops. So it does kind of look like rain. If you remember from earlier videos, this is starting to shape up. I think by next year this time it will be uh, like I first envisioned it with some of these plants growing in around the rocks. Once they get established, they're actually spreading a little faster than I thought they would. Going upstream here. Slab bridge we put in back in, I guess that one was in August. We've been working on this in stages. Solving that erosion problem coming out of the bank there, coming out of the mountain. This is what looks like the headwaters of our stream. And once those plants grow in there, you'll kind of see that'll look kind of a wet boggy area. And then as the stream goes down, we did a little boulder scape over there around that tree. Kind of brought that tree in there. Probably could use a couple more shrubs in there. We planted perennials. I uh, told him to probably ought to be wait till October to plant the shrubs and October is only a couple of days away so that might be the next step come in here plant a few evergreen perennials so that it'll uh, bring some color in here in the winter time when everything else the leaves will come off and all the perennials are dormant right there it's the spot we talked about putting a couple of steps in rustic steps that's that fire pit area you can see those flowers really came in beautiful right there against that rock it's just just beautiful the way that comes in there looking down, downstream, it's coming together. It really looks a lot better than it did prior to us mulching and planting these banks and edges. You can see that slab ridge down there crossing over to where the fountain's going to be. They're actually going to be putting in a patio right there in that spot right there. And I think some kind of walkway right up through here where that grass is up around to, the, to that porch. It's coming together really nicely. Mulch really always makes a big difference when you mulch an area. And we talked about doing an alpine garden. That's a recommendation I made. This being a weekend home, he doesn't really want to mow grass. He doesn't have a whole lot of grass, but if he skips a couple of weeks, doesn't make it up here, he's got two or three weeks worth of grass when he gets here. And the first thing he's got to do is mow grass, so he wants to eliminate that grass. I think through here, it's going to do the patio. And now, garden pond up there, another dry stream bed down through here at the base of this, a smaller one. But I thought it would look good to do an alpine garden. I love alpine gardens. It's very similar to what we've already done right here, only instead of using mulch, you'll use pebbles. And you use boulders, low growing plants throughout the boulders. And it's, uh, it's really a beautiful way to have a low maintenance. Uh, garden so that you don't spend all your time maintaining it when you're here on the weekends. You're supposed to be up here to relax. We edged out around these boxwoods. These boxwoods are probably original to this house. This house was built in the 1870s. So we came down there and tied into that rock wall and then kind of brought it up around. We don't want to do straight lines. We're doing kind of a rustic landscape so we definitely don't want to do anything straight and formal looking and I'll show you down this rock wall while I'm here you can see it's a beautiful log cabin We've really done wonderful things with it inside and this rock wall is a huge rock wall that they put in here <coughs> kind of see it's probably 12 feet tall down there in that section 
to hold back that uh, so they could have a lawn there in front or at least a, a space in the front of it. That building down there I think is going to be uh, some kind of studio. They'll be working down there. I'm sure they'll be doing some work down there project wise. Well, this is uh, sep end of September. We may be back up here to do the Alpine Garden depending on scheduling this, this fall. Uh, w one thing I will say, working up here in the mountains has been wonderful except for the gnats. The gnats have been unbelievable up here. Uh, that's one thing about mountains. You don't have the mosquitoes. You just have these little gnats that come around. That's all. They're always bad in the higher elevations.